this video I'm going to share with you a review of a book Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz. Hi, my name is Clement, I'm making videos on self-improvement and today we are going to talk about this book Magic of Thinking Big. I would recommend this book to anyone who wants to have a bigger life and what I mean by that is that this book will help you start to believe in yourself and your choices and how to get a great results in any area of your life simply by the power of belief. Schwartz's step-by-step -step approach will show you how to defeat this belief and the negative power it creates. Make your mind produce positive thoughts. Plan and concentrate success building program. Do more and do it better. Turn on your creative power. Capitalize on the power of now. During this video, we'll go through five lessons I learned from this book. Let's get started. Believe you can succeed and you will. Every human being wants success. Everyone wants the best this life can offer. Nobody enjoys scrolling. No one likes feeling second class. When you believe I can do it, the how to do it develops. Every day young people start working on a new job. Each one of them wishes that someday he could enjoy the success that goes with reaching the top. But majority of these young people simply do not have the belief that it takes to reach the top ranks. But a small number of people really believe that they can succeed. They approach their work with the I'm going to the top attitude and with substantial belief they reach the top. Think success, don't think failure. Remind yourself every day that you are better than you think you are. Believe big. The size of your success is determined by the size of your belief. Cure yourself of excuses, the failure disease. Excuses appears in many forms, but the worst type of disease are based on health, intelligence, age and luck. But my health isn't good. Millions and millions of people suffer from health excuses. Think for a moment of all highly successful people you know who could but who don't use health as an excuse. But you've got to have brains to succeed. We make two basic errors when it comes to intellect. One, we underestimate our own brain power and two, we overestimate the other fellow's brain power. What really matters is not how much intelligence you have, but how you use what you do have. The thinking that guides your intelligence is much more important than how much intelligence you may have. It's no use, I am too old. Cutting yourself of age excuses often opens the door to the opportunities that you thought were locked away. The cure for age excuses is Look at your present age positively. Compute how much productive time you have left. Invest future time in doing what you really want to do. I'm going to start now. My best years are ahead of me. That's the way successful people think. But my case is different. I attract bad luck. Suppose luck were used to reorganize the General Motors. If luck determined who does what and who goes where, every business in the nation would fall apart. Assume for a moment that General Motors were to be completely reorganized on the basis of luck. To carry out the reorganization, the names of all employees would be placed in a barrel. The first name drawn would be President, the second name the Executive Vice President and so down the line. Sounds stupid, doesn't it? Well, that's how the luck would work. Don't count on luck for promotions, victories, the good things in life. Luck simply isn't designed to deliver these good things. Instead, just concentrate on developing those qualities in yourself that will make you a winner. Build confidence and destroy fear. Yes, fear is real, and we must recognize it before we can conquer it. Action cures fear. Isolate your fear and then take constructive action. Inaction, doing nothing about a situation, straightens fear and destroys confidence. Make a supreme effort to put only positive thoughts into your memory bank. Don't let negative thoughts grow into mental monsters. Simply refuse to recall unpleasant events or situations. Put people in proper perspective. Remember, people are more alike, much more alike than they are different. Get a balanced view of the other fellow. He is just another human being and develop an understanding attitude. Many people will bark, but it's a rare one who bites. Practice doing what your conscience tells you it's right. Doing what is right is very practical rule for success. Make everything about you say, I'm confident, I'm really confident. Practice these little techniques in your day-to-day -day activities. Be a front-seater. Make eye contact. Speak up. 
walk 25% faster and smile big. How to think big? Here are four ways to help you develop a big thinker's mind. Use big, positive, cheerful words and phrases to describe how you feel. When somebody asks you, how do you feel today? And you respond with, I'm tired, I have a headache, I don't feel so good. You will actually make yourself feel worse. Practice this. It has a very simple point, but it has tremendous power. Every time somebody asks you, how are you? You respond with, just wonderful, thanks, and you? And you will begin to feel wonderful and bigger too. Use bright, cheerful, favorable words and phrases to describe other people. Make it a rule to have a big positive words about your friends and associates. When you and someone else are discussing about other friend, be sure you compliment him with a big words and phrases like he's a really good fellow. Use positive language to encourage others. Compliment people regularly. Everyone you know craves praise. Have a special good word for your wife or husband every day. Notice and compliment the people who work with you. How to think and dream creatively. Believe it can be done. When you believe something can be done, your mind will find the way to do it. Believe a solution paves the way to solution. Don't let tradition paralyze your mind. Be receptive to new ideas. Be experimental. Try new approaches. Be progressive in everything you do. Ask yourself daily, how can I be better? There is no limit to self-improvement. When you ask yourself, how can I do it better? Sound answers will appear. Try it and see. Ask yourself, how can I do more? Capacity is a state of mind. Asking yourself these questions puts your mind to work to find intelligent shortcuts. Practice asking and listening. Ask and listen. And you will obtain a raw material for reaching sound decisions. Big people monopolize the listening. Small people monopolize the talking. Stretch your mind. Get stimulated. Associate with people who can help you think of new ideas, new ways of doing things. Mix with people of different occupational and social interests. Remember, a wise man will be master of his mind, a fool will be its slave. Thank you guys for sticking up to the end of the video. Please like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this book. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.